Hello everyone, this is Margaret Young from CMC Markets. Uh, happy Friday. So today I'm going to do a market wrap up for the week and uh, discuss about what to look for over the weekend and prepare for the next week's trading. And today I'm going to focus on Hang Seng Index, which is very volatile in the past week. Hang Seng has dropped more than 1,500 points or more than 5% in the last five trading days. So I'm looking for a signal of stabilization and potential bottom up of this market. And Hang Seng is now the focal point as it is leading the entire Asia uh, movement right now. So uh, let's take a look at the fundamental side. On the new side, recently the macroeconomic data uh, was pretty bad given the fact that um, Japan's GDP disappoints and then uh, we have seen that the worst jobs data came out from Australia that um, the monthly new job added has dropped by 19,000 which hits a three-year low. So Aussie dollar dropped because of this and plus more importantly, we have seen that China's industrial production also missed expectation. Plus, China's retail sales also hit a 16-year low at 7.2%. So a lot of like very weak data came out, um, dampening sentiment and hurting investors' confidence. Plus, we are having this trade talk back on the top of agenda again. Um, so this huge sell-off we have seen in the last one week was largely because that US and China may not be able to reach a phase one deal. They are hitting a deadlock about agricultural goods purchase, potentially uh, structural reform and intellectual properties issue, and also whether and to what extent they are going to roll back the current tariffs. So a lot of issues on the table. They haven't um, come reach a common ground and that, that makes investors um, very worried about this. And one more thing is ongoing violent protests in Hong Kong that is pulling Hong Kong into a technical recession already and many schools are shut down um, and uh, the companies are planning contingency plans or advise their employees to work from home. So uh, the, in, the business environment is deteriorating rapidly. Um, that has been reflected in Hang Seng Index sell-off. Technically, I have drawn out this Fibonacci retracement. Remember that Fibonacci retracement is used to predict the uh, retracement after the full rally has been finished. So we have seen this full rally and so I can find out a low point and a high point, then I draw out this retracement. So right now, um, I think Hang Seng has testing the 61.8% level, which is at around 26,400 points. And a breakdown below this could pull back further to the 76.4%, which is 26,060 points, okay? But I don't think that the market will go down sharply um, below the 76.4% unless Hong Kong announced a curfew and the current violence escalate further than that's possible. But if uh, the situation stabilizes here, we might see a stabilization in uh, Hang Seng Index and potentially a technical rebound from here. Okay, as the golden ratio level 61.8 is usually quite a strong support for this index. And then let's look at the momentum indicators here i have illustrated three one is dmi so dmi has came to a bearish uh, territory as highlighted in the red area here but a, a narrowing down in the gap of dmi will suggest that market is bottoming up so let's monitor the dmi the width of the indicator and next is macd okay macd has um formed a dead cross a few days back Okay, and then is trending lower, which is a bearish signal. Plus another one is RSI. Um, even though that it hasn't really reached a oversold level be below 30% yet, but it is stabilizing here at around 35, 36 level, which could be a bullish signal. Okay, so this is analysis on the momentum indicator. Um, so I would say that this weekend is really uh, critical. Many news may come out, um, and next Monday we potentially we can see a gap up or a gap down. Depends on what's 
uh, going to happen in Hong Kong during during this weekend? Is there going to be uh, further chaos? Is there going to be a curfew? Are the Hong Kong police force able to implement this curfew? Um, and how is Beijing going to do with uh, Hong Kong? As um, China's President Xi has announced yesterday, saying that um, this violence, this protest has to stop. Okay, so that's the wrap-up of this week. Thank you.